The RG Hyper Mega Bazooka Launcher for the High New Gundam. Talk about an overly long title for a weapon. Oddly, this dropped after a third party company started making their own for the MG New Gundam and, you know, the resin kit for that as well. There isn't much to say about this outside of it looks cool and it's a fast build. I wonder if Bandai will scale this up to 1100 size so you could then put it with your Verka MG, but most likely Bandai won't even though it seems like a cool idea. It comes in at double the size of the High New Gundam itself, and it's heavy. I wish Bandai, you know, created a more dedicated holding attachment for this beam bazooka itself, rather than the standardized four pin fork system that sort of is a one size fits all solution to everything Gunpla that they didn't bother creating a dedicated adapter for. It's like there isn't a dedicated adapter? Remember, we had that four prong thingy. It works on everything. If only you could use the four prong thingy on your miserable little life, am I right, children? By the way, you can only use the trigger finger hand attachment. You can't use the beam saber slash bazooka hand attachment, which I would have thought would be a better hand for this, simply because that hand has a swivel mechanism, giving you more freedom of range and movement, and would have made it much easier to put it in the Gundam's hand using that. I mean, you can force it in, but do you really want to do that with small pieces of plastic that are liable to get bent or broken? I've given it a shot. It's possible, but it's iffy at best. To me, it seems obvious that they didn't really plan this ahead of time. It's just sort of like an afterthought. They made the kit and they're like, mm, beam bazooka. Sure, why not? Frankly, it is a sick looking weapon and it'll be great for any display. But, but as I said before, it's heavy. Getting into a pose that you actually want that looks cool takes a lot of fiddle. And it's easy for saying to pull your model kit's hand clean out of the socket in the blink of an eye and fall clean over. Would I recommend it? Sure. At the retail price. I don't feel it's worth paying double the price from secondhand vendors on Fleabag. I'm pretty sure this could be used with the normal New Gundam. Or I should say Shars Counterattack New Gundam. And High New Gundam is actually, you know, Bellicus Children or whatever. So you can also rig it up for that. It's really just a big brick, and I specialize in big bricks when it comes to model kits. I enjoy them. I just really feel that the attachment system could have been better. It could have been something a bit less obvious. You know, the big black action base for holding up your beam bazooka. I think making it clear would have been a better move. Like the black one is kind of like an odd choice in my opinion. But then if you really care and you're a modeler, most likely you get like pieces of clear acrylic I'd say like what three-fourths of an inch will do make your own little base and it'll be much less conspicuous it'll be locked to one position but it'll be a much cleaner look uh, Bandai skimped out on the wire that's supposed to like be to the generator um, I don't know why the wire is so short why does Bandai do this when they give you any wire for any model kit they give you just enough it's ridiculous, really. It should have been slightly longer. And it's very thin, and it pops out of place very easily. So if you want this to not pop out of place, you're probably going to have to glue it. The generator itself, it's all right. Um, it does have some extra details under the outer shell casing, so I do like that. And there isn't much more I can say about this, really. It is what it is. If you like the beam bazooka and you stick to Bandai, this is your only option for getting one. Now, before you sit there and go, hey, why didn't you do some extra poses? Well, I tried. I wanted to do like a sort of pose where New Gundam was leaning backwards and aiming the beam bazooka really high up, right? Uh, it kind of didn't work out for me. Maybe I should have used the enclosed action base that they supplied instead of my own. But when I tried this, I ran into a balance issue. And then the black stand wasn't long enough to get the exact pose I wanted. After a little while of, you know, just messing with that, I was just kind of like, screw it what am i doing you know i've got this thing falling over the hands keep popping out or popping in two then you gotta put the hands back together then you gotta put it back into the arm socket just right so it holds the bazooka without the hand falling out or sliding off the shoulder i will say the shoulder mechanism they did well on that in the sense of it works by grabbing the shoulder armor without scratching it so that's something and that should basically do it for me Long and the short of it is, do I recommend it? Sure. At retail price, have at it. Um, if you love the high new Gundam RG, you're probably going to want this piece of sweet swag 
until they make a specialized full armor kit for the RG New Gundam, which is obviously coming because there seems to be certain areas in this kit that look like it would support some sort of uh, outer armor. But you'd really have to take apart the legs and stuff. But, you know, we've all been there. Who cares? Let's move on with our lives.